We love our new RV, <laughs> but there's some things we need to change immediately. Yes. We're going to talk about those. Step one, get rid of the gold. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not a gold person. <laughs> I'm a white gold person. <laughs> yeah. I need, uh, my inner redneck needs the bright, shiny yeah. metal. So we'll show you exactly what we're talking about with getting rid of the gold and all the other things that we had to change immediately. Even though the RV was almost perfect, we had to make it well, I've never walked into an RV that had everything I wanted just the way I wanted it. Yeah. That's never going to happen. So you have to make it more custom to you. Yeah, and the special accommodations in owning uh -huh. a bearded dragon on the road. Yeah. So that's a lot of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. What are we changing? Handles. Handles. So let's see the before. There's the before. The gold handles, which you yeah. can see everywhere mm -hmm. which aren't terrible no they're not terrible they're just not us yeah and these handles are throughout the rv so even in the bathroom all the handles are the gold fixtures and in the bedroom all gold fixtures also so there is your befores and when we get done we will show you the afters. What do they look like? Uh, <laughs> Just the sleek uh, brushed nickel? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get to work. Well, that was more difficult than it needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else expect? is difficult. Why, Why would it be easy? <laughs> um, starting off really, really well. Um, yeah. I was taking all the fixtures off as Leslie was going behind and just loosely putting yeah. new ones on. And so it comes with two sizes of screws. It comes with the short guys for the cabinets because the cabinets aren't that thick. It comes with longer ones for the drawers because the drawers are more thick. Th yeah. However, for the drawers and the new fixtures that we got, <laughs> Shorties were too short to go all the way through. Mm -hmm. Meep, meep. <laughs> and the long ones, that's my phone notification, by the way. Uh, the long ones were too long. They wouldn't screen all the way, so the handles were loose. loose. So I had to uh, go to get some washers. Yes. To make sure that they would tighten down all the way. And of course, we started this project at like 8.30 at night. Probably not the smartest thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so by nine o'clock is when we realized we had an issue. And, yeah. um, Luckily, good old in, Walmart. Yeah, in Florida, <laughs> yeah, Rona is not uh, shutting everything completely down really, really early. Mm -hmm. So I was able to go to Walmart, get some washers, come back, and finish the job. Yep. So now we will show you what they look like. What do you think? I'm very happy. Yeah? Yes. Muchos gurus? Muy bueno. All right. I don't even know if those are words. <laughs> but <laughs> Mine are. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's so good. much better than the gold yes drastic because improvement it's, it's more our style now it is we're not really gold people no. uh, more silver brush nickel it matches the the, uh, the appliances. appliances and the sinks mm -hmm. better i feel like yeah um and then with what we did with the globes yeah uh took that gold away so we're kind of just doing away with all we the gold de -golded it yeah <laughs> this is what the globes looked like before with the very bright gold in the domes and we decided that the gold had to go so here is what they look like now so that is what it looks like now all just painted black on the inside well, one of the first things we changed was the RV door handle and you don't realize how spoiled you get with these automatic door locks because after we changed RVs first few days we were having to actually manually unlock it with the lock and to us it was a pain because we were so used to having the remote to hit the thing and it's very easy this is the rv lock www.rvlock.com or you can get them on, on amazon and i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get one very easy install just a few screws here that you have to take out of the old one put in the new one and you have to make sure you get it all lined up here correctly 
We did, however, have to take off the catch plate on the door because it stuck out a little bit. And this, this is a little bit different. It actually sticks out a little further than the, the stock one that came. So when we put this one in and we were trying to close the door, it was hitting that that door catch and it just would not would not close. So so now we had to remove that and it closes very easily. One thing that we had to change almost immediately I think we took one shower each before we changed shower heads to this guy and uh, I'll leave a link in the description to this shower head if you want one because we love it the last one uh, you turn on the water and it would just fall like right here like you had to stand right under the shower head and we, ha we now have, we have this big huge residential shower but you still had to stand like right here to to get a shower and so now we have this new shower head and when you turn on the water it shoots all the way to the back wall so great pressure and you don't have to stand right underneath it you can actually stand anywhere in the shower and and it works great we unfortunately were unable to keep our king mattress because in the last rv the side tables weren't really tables they were they were just a little shelf that was mounted here we took those out to give us that extra space and so our last mattress was 76 inches wide which is a residential king this is only 72 inches wide which is an rv king and you can see that these are actually built in shelvings so you cannot remove those to give you those extra four inches to put a residential king in here so you have to stick with the rv king now this did come with a mattress but as you know in rvs the mattresses are never great so we had to get just one of the foam toppers to go on top of this it's still not as good as we want it to be but um we are looking for regular mattresses that are going to be softer to sleep on but for now it's working with the foam topper all of our windows in the rv came out with the blackout shades but the only window that didn't come with any covering is the one in the door it's just a regular window and you can't install one of the shades without changing out the entire window we didn't want to do that I'm sure we could probably find something but the distance between the screen door and the door is is not much so even if we did find something it, it might push against the screen we really want to do that so we just found the simple solution which was go to walmart get a roll of the frosting sticky stuff and just cut a piece out and put it in the in the window here so that's what we did I think it was like 20 bucks for a roll which was way overkill we didn't need that much but we needed to get this frosted that way at night when we're walking around in here people aren't able to just see right in and now we are going to talk about all things scout because scout has free range in the rv we had to make it friendly and safe for him we had this ramp in the last rv this is a little ramp that he can use to get up and get down the furniture is a lot higher in this one than it was the last one. So we had to put a carpet on there so he has traction up this massive hill. <laughs> the end tables were taller than the last end tables too. Therefore his ladders previously won't work. So I had to go to Petco and buy larger bird ladders. And even then the larger ones pretty steep pretty steep but he <laughs> is managing just fine he loves it he shoots right up yeah and the material on there is um, it's like drawer liners grippies that you put in your in your drawers for your silverware pots pans whatever to keep them from sliding around and so we have the brown for over here to match this wood and then we have the gray over here to match the sofa as best we could and so he can climb he can climb straight up there all the way up to the top and then we mounted some heat lamps up just like we did in the last RV. So those are plugged in back there. The cords run up, they hang off of this command hook, and then they dangle down so that he can lay under his heat <laughs> like he is right now. And that's where he spends most of his time hanging out, looking out the back window. Now, I know, especially with my OCD, people are thinking, that's not pretty. <laughs> and you're correct, it is not pretty, but it's functional for him and when he's not out all that is rolled up tucked behind the couch 
so you don't see any of that. Mm -hmm. Ramp folds, slides in on the sides, you don't see any of that. The only thing that, the side ramps will come down, you won't see those either. The only thing that will stay is the side tables. Yeah. Those aren't going to move when we're going to have somebody over or he's totally not going to come out and I just want to put things away the tidier. Those will always stay. But the couch will roll up and hide, his toys will hide, his ladders will hide. It'll look more normal if we're having people over. And it'll like be done in about five minutes or less. Yes, I mean, all I do is just roll it up and let it sit on the back behind the couch. You don't even know they're there. His toys go up in the cabinet, they're gone. Ramps are tucked in on the side. Not a big deal. It takes three minutes. Awesome. Okay, tell us about Scott's new home. His new home is longer than the last home, which is good for him. And it is taller than the last one. <laughs> Not good for me, as you can tell. <laughs> I require a step stool to get him in and out now. But pretty much everything went in the same way. Yeah. Cool side's still the same. His heat side's still the same. Lights are mounted basically the same. Just different positioning because it is a longer tank but other than that it's the same I didn't we have support bars for the cabinets in here which weren't in the last one so his door was not usable from the last tank but thank you Hobby Lobby for ten dollars a piece these picture frames that had the plexiglass already in them just put a hinge on them and a knob use the magnets from the cabinets that were already there and now and he's able to get in and out from e either door, actually. Yeah, they all three open. But the very strong magnets, he's not going to open them on his own. Yeah, before we had the latches up there so that he wouldn't push his way out, but uh, those magnets weren't as strong. No, these are strong So here, magnets. these are really strong magnets. <laughs> so he is not coming out of no. there. He sure isn't. Under these stairs, there's a nook here for your shoes to go what we didn't realize is that underneath there it leads right into the underbelly of the rv which is a dangerous situation for scout the scout crawls in there and he be gone so have to get a fix for that well, we didn't want to get anything unsightly or crazy that was going to look crazy in the rv so we have like this uh, metal mesh, uh, very thin but breathable, and so we'll cut this down to size, and we'll screw it in underneath that step so that Scout can go in there without falling through to the bottom of the RV. So underneath the step, here is the final product. You can see the metal mesh that we put in there. This board right here was already provided, but it was just it was just propped up because it was hiding. That raw wood that, that went under there. So we we screwed that in. That's helping hold the mesh in. And then we screwed it up in the top there. So now Scout is safe from falling into the bottom of the RV. Well, that's it for all the things that we had to change immediately. Yeah. How long have we been in the RV now? Uh, a week and a half. Yeah, so in just about 10 days or so, we've yeah. changed all that stuff already. But feels more like yeah. I, I got to do it right away so I feel like I'm done and this is my home and I can relax. Yeah, and especially this stuff with Scout because yeah, we had Scout in his temporary tank and he wasn't able to get onto the back of the couch by himself. He was yeah. having to sleep down there instead of his <laughs> habitat, and so for Scout, his life was really in turmoil. Yes, for six nights he had to sleep in his <laughs> yeah. temporary and it just, yeah. you could tell it wasn't the same for him. Well, we couldn't even let him out to run around until we got, you know, things like the things under the stairs Stay. taken care of because yeah. we didn't want him to get lost because mm -hmm. he just runs around and... and He'll, if there's a crevice he can fit in, he will find it. So you yeah. had to stop that first. And, I mean, even after we did turn him loose the first time, he was under that stair almost immediately. <laughs> yeah. He would have most certainly been gone. Yeah. Somewhere under the RV. I, I would have been shoving myself <laughs> under the stairs as well to find him because that's what I would do for him. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but it just would have been a pain. It would have been bad. So, mm-hmm. um, all the the couple of items that we do have available through Amazon, we'll leave yeah. a link in the description below so you can go get those if you want. The door lock, the shower head. Um, I think that was it for stuff that the handles came from Amazon. The handles did come from Amazon. So if you want to change uh, handles, we will leave a link to the handles too. Make sure you get the right size. I guess measure properly. We well, ordered the wrong size the first time and had to send it back and get the right size the second time. Yeah. So we had to wait twice as long to get the handles. That's actually what we were waiting on to finish up the this man. video because yeah. we had to wait to get the handles. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, but still, um, even with all of that craziness, you know, less than two weeks to get to get settled yeah. in is not terrible. No. So now it feels like home and we hope that you enjoyed all the things that we changed let us know what you think in the comments below like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to see all the ways that you can help us help veterans while we're on the road we'll leave all the information that you need down in the description of this video we appreciate you watching and we will see you next time bye